It is now a race against the clock, meanwhile, to recount all the ballots in Palm Beach County. The latest problems have been with the counting machines. The Now's Matt Sesney live for us this afternoon once again in Riviera Beach with how much progress is being made. Matt? Well, Shannon, the good news here we're told is that the machines, the vote counting machines are operational. So the problems from last night are gone. They do have technicians on standby ready to work on the machines if necessary. But right now, only one machine is working. We're told this is the only trained election official in the building right now to work a machine. So there is still concern about being able to finish the Senate recount by the deadline. The supervisor of election says this afternoon they are counting the ballots from precincts on election day. A large number of those ballots actually have to be rescanned because the initial scan did not work right because of the machines failing. And this is still the first of what is supposed to be four recounts, including the race for governor and Senate. The supervisor of elections admitting the system here has just been pushed to the max. We didn't anticipate that we would have to run 100% of our ballots through these old machines. We anticipated we would have a pretty quiet midterm election as we used to. I guess that's not the new norm. And so we never anticipated that these machines would have to run 24-7 and perform four recounts. All right, there is a chance this deadline could be extended right now. A federal court in Tallahassee is hearing arguments about extending the deadline, at least here in Palm Beach County, but so far that deadline is still solid at tomorrow. Live in Riviera Beach, Matt Sesney for the now, South Florida.